Do we have to be poor at some point of uh, some point in life for us to be successful? I'm still with Mr. Marara as he continues uh, with, with, with his journey. We we're talking about focus. Yes. So let's go more on focus. You see, focus is being able to identify one goal, committing your resources, committing your finest efforts to achieving it. And the definition of focus is follow one course until successful. Okay. So what happens with people is usually you get into a company of people and you lose that. You stop concentrating on that one particular goal and you lose focus consequently. And the moment you lose focus, that's the moment you also begin to lose sight of the bigger picture. So I want to encourage people, if you're going to make anything meaningful, we need the discipline of focus. For me right now, I still remember the picture that I was years back. And I also remember the picture of my mother. I also remember now talking and joking about where we came from. Now, I'll talk to my mother, one of the most happiest women alive. Why? Because I didn't forget where I'm coming from. And we need to make that commitment, not to forget where we're coming from as well. Like, like you're saying, you, then you, you keep going back to, to, to the story of your mother. So are, are you saying only those that, are, uh, that have a poor background are the ones that make it in life? Do I need to, to have that poor background for me to be focused to, to, to make it? Not even. You can actually die poor. It's, it's not a requisite. There are people who are born into privileged uh, situations, but they can still rise, continue developing. I remember there's a story of this Kardashian girl whom they're now saying she's the youngest billionaire. So they're born into money, technically. But even though she's born into money, what does she do? She develops a fashion range. Now she's now making billions from that. Why? Because it's not necessary for you to be poor. For me, my driving force was to have a different outcome for my family. So someone can be listening right now, and money is not even the issue. But their desire is to achieve a more meaningful life. That can also be a driving force. So from everything that we've been saying, I'm picking uh, a charisma in a human being. I'm picking a, a character, and I'm picking consistency. That's true. Those three things, they, they seem to work hand in hand. No, it does. So, there, 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 there are some people who then tend to lose it. I'm, I'm, I'm against Arayana Zubarayana Wanurara Farmer. Of A, you talked something about being focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a blunt example, but it's, it's mm. very meaningful. Example. That's true. Well, when a soldier is going to war, they know one goal. Mm. They, given coordinates, the Mulan Zigirat, the coordinates are cut. They make sure they are determined and they stick to what they are told to do. What really should we do to, to, to our generation so that we don't lose that focus? You see what? You mentioned a very important point called character. Character is what the world is suffering from because now we have what people don't even know who they are, but they are trying to sell that to other people. So work on developing your character, becoming a person of principle, a person of determination, you talk about charisma as well, because that's what attracts people and consistency, what you repeatedly do, what you repeatedly do. That's why the philosopher Aristotle says we are what we repeatedly do. Excellent, then it's not an act, it's a habit. Why? Because what you do every day, you end up becoming. So what we need are people who are going to identify good habits and repeatedly do them. But right now, your life is being run by habits, whether good or bad. But imagine if you set out and create good habits, your life simply becomes managed by those habits. And now you find that if what people who are becoming serial entrepreneurs, that's a habit. And look at people who are serial gamblers, that's a habit. Serious drunkards, habit. Serious womanizers, that's a habit. So whatever you consistently do, you end up becoming. What, what, what then do you have to say for about those people who always find their habits as an escape to run away probably from the situation they are facing? Because when you were mentioning about habits, I started to uh, see pictures of friends, pictures of moments that I came through. We always have that moment where I want an escape. So I will resort to a certain habit, be it corner border, like I love watching soccer. I'm trying to run away from responsibility, my excuse will be land your corner border. How, how, how do you deal with that? You need to mature up and take responsibility. If you're not serious with your life, no one is going to be serious about it. 
If you're not serious with your life, no amount of prophetic water or resurrection will change your life. So we, we need to get to the basics, taking charge, taking responsibility for your life. If you're not going to do it, no one is going to do it for you. Own up, take responsibility, and realize you have to do something different. Because now, if you wake up and you end your day, if you're actually going to be honest, you can pick a particular routine, the certain things that you're doing which are almost the same. Mm-hmm. But how do you get to change your life from that routine? Is taking charge, taking responsibility, realizing I'm the person to make this happen. But also to realize that you don't necessarily need someone from somewhere else to do it for you. You have to do it. But how do you do it? You break the routine. Create, introduce new and better habits. Stop justifying bad habits. Start working on replacing them, changing them, and introducing better habits. That's what will change your life. All right, say, for, for, for my generation, I'm living in an era of a typical generation, and, uh, and one, of, one of the things that, 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 that scares me is the way technology is growing, yeah. and, and the way I see it, we're going to end up losing jobs. The off air, you, talk, you, 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 you talked about something that, that interested my point, my, 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 my view of, of, of things. What should we do? rather than to relax and let the technology take over from, from, from this lazy generation that we're living in? For starters, we're living in a time where technology is now abandoned mm. and the technology is so much improved than the technology which used to have in the 1960s. Do you know the computer that was used to send the Apollo crew to the moon for 100,000 kilometers from Earth only 65 kilobytes memory size? And look at your smartphone. So this is a problem. We've got smartphones which are being used by DAO users <laughs> All right, uh, your last words, your last words to someone who's in Rujeko, someone who's, who's in the same school that you went, someone who's on their lowest point in life, what would be your words of advice? You, you can be what you want to be. Don't look for excuses, don't look for reasons why you can't, look for reasons why you can, and refuse to be a captive of a situation that you first find yourself in. Decide the life that you want. Stop blaming the economy, stop blaming the politicians. Stop blaming your failed relationships. Stop being angry at your dead parents. Take responsibility. That's what changes your life. Thank you, Sefo, for, for coming to the show. It's been a great pleasure, my brother. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for inviting, inviting me. me. I was with Akamara, a renowned speaker and an attorney. We walked 10 kilometers to school, but look where it is today. There is no reason for you not to make it in life. You just need to make that bold decision. This is what I want to do in life. This is what I am going to, to do. You don't need someone to really push you. You need to push yourself. Thank you for watching Rock Bottom. Stay tuned. Be blessed.